Hi, my name is Ricky Hampton. I'm the main lead here at Downtown Texan Gown. My background is I study design and marketing at the Fashion Institute of Design and Marketing. Hi, my name is Warren Gately. I've been in the wedding industry for 20 years. I own my own tuxedo store and gown store in Oklahoma for about 13 years. Um, why we're here today is to help you guys. We know how hard it is um, whenever you're getting fitted for your gown and tux, so we're here to uh, give you some advice and tell you some examples of what fits best for your body type. All right, so first of all, we're gonna start talking about wedding gowns and the five different body types um, to fit for that and what accentuates best for each of those. So let's get started. All right, ladies, so the first thing we're gonna talk about, the first body type is the pear shape. Um, they're gonna have a more narrow shoulder, um, a little bit wider on the hips. Um, so the two types of um, designs that would be great in silhouettes is a trumpet or fit and flare or mermaid. They're all kind of the same. Um, and an A-line dress. This is actually an example of a fit and flare. Um, it will accentuate the hips, but the good thing about a lot of our dresses here is they do have the corset backs, um, so we can make them accentuate where it's supposed to be. Um, and then an A-line dress is more fitted. Um, once it comes to the hips, it actually makes an A-shape from the hips out, um, so that is an A-line dress. All right, so the next body type we're gonna talk about is the rectangle body shape also like a slim and fit body shape. Um, we like to accentuate um, the curves as well on this body type. So the sheath dress, the sheath dress is just a straight fitting gown, um, is also really good. You know, I'm gonna hear several times, probably in every body type, I'm gonna say a ball gown fits great on everyone. Um, like I said, it just accentuates the waist a little bit. Um, but this is an example of a sheath dress. Um, it just kind of falls flat on the hips. Um, a high neckline is also good to elongate the body. Um, so this one's really good. It's one of my favorite types actually. It's more, uh, we hear the brides say it's a little bit more comfortable to wear. Um, it's, of course it's not a huge ball gown with a huge train. So the sheath dresses are great. All right ladies, our next body type is gonna be the round or plus size. Um, like I said before, ball gowns are great on every size, but especially a plus size girl. Um, this is one of our examples of one of the dresses that we have here at Downtown Texan Gown. Um, I was just going to give you a little tip. Um, if you're open to do a little bit of color, always accentuating the waist. That's like a big thing. Um, we have like the sashes. If you would do a color, like maybe putting a black sash around it would accentuate the, the waist. It doesn't have to be black. It could be like a dark, like a burgundy or a, a, just a darker color. Always looks good on um, plus size just to bring in that waist. Like I said earlier, the corset backs are amazing on plus size. You're able to pull that corset in tight, um, especially to accentuate that waist, like that's the main focus. And the other big tip for plus size is an empire waist. It's not empire, a lot of people call it empire. Um, it is a French term. It is cuts right under the bust. That way it's flowy just to hide those parts that maybe you wanna hide. Um, but those are like some big tips, especially for plus size girls. Okay, so the next body type we're gonna talk about is the apple shape. Um, our apple brides have a little bit wider shoulders. Maybe they're a little bit bustier. Um, a lot of our bustier brides, they have two rules. It's either reveal or conceal. They either wanna cover it up or they wanna show it off. So there's several options for that body type. Um, this is a great, it's almost, this is kinda of in between an A-line and a ball gown. Um, like I said, the A-lines come out a little bit more A-line. This actually has a little bit more poof to it. But as far as the neckline, this would be one that would conceal a little bit more. It doesn't have a plunging neckline. Um, it's not a sweetheart, but straps are always great um, to do for those wider um, shoulders or the larger bust. Um, so this does have the straps here. If you wanted to do a spaghetti strap, halters are my favorite actually for this body type. Um, a halter would come just right around um, the neckline here. Um, so this is one of the great um, uh, silhouettes and ball gowns of course like I always said ball gowns are great if you wanted to add on straps um, you can do that to any style um, this is great for bustier um, or apple shaped um, brights all right ladies so now we're going to talk about another body type the hourglass figure so this is the um, where your bust and your hips are equal, close to the same size. So you really wanna accentuate that waist once again. Um, corsets, like I said, are great for this body type. Um, so we're gonna show here. Um, the good thing about the corsets is once you lace up, make sure you always lace from the top down. We do have some consultants here that will help you do that as well. Um, but So once you get down to this measurement here in the waist, you're able to pull that in. Um, so it accentuates the waist. Um, and then of course, if you wanna like let it come out just a little bit more in the hips, 
Um, it just really is, has that great figure. I also, I also call, it, call it the Jessica, uh, not Jessica Simpson, Jessica Rabbit. Maybe Jessica Simpson too. Uh, but this is a great um, dress here at Downtown Tux and Gown for that body type. All right, we're gonna do a little bonus segment here. We get a lot of petite brides who are a little bit shorter, smaller in frame, um, and they ask all the time what's good on them. The whole point of this is to elongate the body. Um, we do have some T-length dresses. We also have some high-low dresses. Um, the high-low dresses, of course, they show a little bit of the leg or short dresses. That's gonna elongate you. Um, and you can also pull these in. Um, as my colleague Ricky was just telling me before, he has a lot of customers coming in and brides. They do do the T-length dresses and the actual floor length. Um, so that's great for this, um, I won't call it a body type. They're just a little bit shorter, more petite. Um, so just a little bonus um, for those brides coming in. This tuxedo here is our slim fit shawl um, tuxedo. Some of the compliments of a slim fit um, style tuxedo is for guys who are tall and thin, we suggest this tuxedo. Not only are these tuxedos um, fashion forward, they give you a, a little more tailored look. It's fitted um, to your body. Um, the pants aren't pleated, so it gives you a little more slimmer and um, tailored look. So for those guys that want a little more tailored and fashion forward look, we suggest the slim fit style tuxedo. This here is our regular fit style tuxedos. Um, the difference between a um, regular fit style tuxedo and a slim fit tuxedo, of course, is the fit, but also with a regular style tuxedo. This tuxedo is great for guys who are broad shoulders, um, gentlemen who might have um, a little more love in the midsection. These type complement um, tuxedos complement their body nicer. Also, the great thing about a regular um, fit tuxedos are the pants. Um, the pants are um, pleated, which means they're adjustable, so they're designed, so they are designed to fit three sizes. So um, for comfort or for those gentlemen that might have um, um, thick legs or, or broad legs, this tuxedo will be great because again, um, the pants are adjustable and things are designed to fit um, three sizes. Now that you know how to dress for your body type, we have a last few suggestions before you come in for your fitting with us here at Downtown Tux and Gown. If possible, do your hair and makeup the same way you will for your big day so you can see what complements your look best. Yes, trust your consultant and be open to recommendations. Sometimes your dream tuxedo or gown is not the one you expect. Keep a positive attitude and stay confident that you will find the perfect dress or tux. And remember, it always helps wear proper undergarments as well as shoes. Thank you again and we look forward to seeing you here at Downtown Tux and Gown. Give us a call at 702 Wedding to schedule your fitting with us today. Again, my name is Ricky. And I'm Warren. And we we'll look forward to seeing you soon.